Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. The Weather Extreme Video, this is the afternoon edition for Thursday, the 4th of January. I'm James Spam. Alabama's weather very cold tonight and tomorrow night, but the good news, a slow weekend warm-up ahead, and rain comes back early next week. Obviously, the big story is that uh, incredible blizzard, nor'easter, off the upper Atlantic coast of the United States. The visible satellite images today have been stunning of this thing. Uh, the central pressure is down to 955 millibars at last report. We have hurricane force wind gusts on the upper Atlantic coast, blizzard conditions, tremendous coastal flooding uh, around Cape Cod, even uh, Boston around the wharf. Uh, just a big, bad storm for them. This is the radar coming out of Boston at 104 this afternoon. And all the blue, that is very heavy snow with rain out there on parts of the Cape. But for Boston, again, this has been a big snow. It's going to be a, a probably a 12 to 18 inches at least there with very strong wind gusts. But down here, things are quiet, but it's cold. Uh, temperatures are barely above freezing in some spots. In other spots, it's below freezing. Uh, Coleman, Haleyville, Fort Payne, all in the 20s. Uh, 31 for Gadsden. Got a very cold night coming up tonight. To the north, we've got uh, Nashville sitting at 22. Uh, 21 degrees for Louisville. And up north on the Canadian border, it is a very cold air mass, as you can see. Temperatures way below zero, and that new surge of cold air keeps on filtering in here tonight. There's the watch warning map around the nation. Blizzard warnings for the upper Atlantic coast down here. All the counties you see there, those are a hard freeze warnings. And different weather service offices have different criteria for those, but everybody across the deep south will be in the deep freeze tonight. Thunderstorms, nope. Not around the nation today in this kind of air mass. Uh, rain for the next seven days, valid through Monday. I'm sorry, valid through Thursday of next week. Uh, pretty decent rains out west on the uh, coast of Washington, Oregon, California, and around here, rain amounts for most places between one half and one inch. And this will be on Monday of next week. So let's check it out, model fans. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. Big trough over the northeast. A cold start. Both the NAM and the GFS have Birmingham at 14 to start the day. The high should be in the low 40s. The sky will be sunny. This is Saturday, and again, low 40s are likely. The sky's sunny. And we note Saturday morning is going to be cold. Again, lows uh, 15 to 19 uh, early Saturday morning. But again, low 40s Saturday afternoon. Sunday, the winds veer to the south. Uh, we'll see highs in the mid to upper 40s. And that's still below average, but at least we're moving in the right direction. And here comes the rain on Monday with a broad surface low coming right on top of us. And again, this will generate rain amounts of about uh, one half to one inch. High should be in the low to mid 50s. Probably no thunder, no chance of any severe weather, and no snow or ice. Tuesday, that wave is on by. Should be a pretty nice day. There's no uh, change to cool air behind that. We'll be well up in the 50s. And this is Wednesday, and we could be pretty close to 60 Wednesday afternoon. You can see the big snows out in the western states. And a week from today, Thursday the 11th, troughing to the west. Moisture begins to come back, maybe some showers, and looks like there could be some thunder toward the end of next week with a surface low north of us, and that looks awfully snowy for Minneapolis-St. Paul, uh, Madison, Wisconsin, and the upper peninsula of Michigan. This is the end of the forecast period, Sunday the 14th, trough coming through, a dry air mass that looks cool and dry. And you can see the numbers, uh, we warm up to near 60 by the middle of next week. By the way, this is uh, ensemble data coming off the European. Then we drop back with highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s. Uh, and again, kind of climbing back up uh, toward the 50s, toward mid-month, but no sign of any air like we've had this week uh, for the next two weeks, which is good. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.